Hello, Jazzy Jeff here, doing a quick special little mini, uh, little mini, little mini video. Uh, this is actually a special video for one of my fans who's been uh, giving me a lot of comments and watching and checking out a lot of my stuff, and you've really expressed interest in my Hellraiser VHS tapes. So I figured I'm just gonna get them all out of the way, show you everything I have. And then we can chat about them a little bit more. So how's that sound? Okay, so up first, uh, this is one of the oldest tapes that I found, but it's not an old tape. Uh, it's from 1998, and I probably found it right around that time frame, 99, 2000. Um, it's one of the earliest VHS tapes I've ever uh, come across, um, but it's not necessarily old. It's another RNG video. Um, back's kind of interesting. Front's not terrible, but not great. Uh, pretty good quality, actually. Um, it's a later VHS tape, so not a lot of work was put into it at this point. They were kind of just factory assembly models. Um, and then these were the two that I found in Hanover, uh, that you were discussing. Both of these are by RNG Video, as well as Star Maker. Uh, this one was not made by Star Maker. Uh, the other company was Anchor Bay. Um, however, these are also Anchor Bay. So I, I don't know why Star Maker wasn't a part of the 98 release. Um, but RNG and Anchor Bay obviously got together to release that. These guys are obviously from 94. So these were four years earlier. RNG came out with these uh, tapes obviously part one and part two respectively um there's the backs um yeah i mean austin uh you had mentioned that there was obviously an uncut version of hellraiser 2 uh like i said i'll have to check it out and see if i can look more into it because both this and the crappy dvd version i own um are uh, seem to be the full version. I mean, they're really brutal and they're really gory. So I can't imagine them showing more blood and more gore. Um, unless I was lucky enough that they maybe, maybe these later tapes have the original director's version. I'm, I'm assuming. So, um, I'll have to try and see if I can look into that. And then, um, but otherwise, that's pretty much it for... Those, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> early Hellraiser uh, movies. I do own uh, Hellraiser 3, uh, Hell on Earth, on uh, DVD. Uh, obviously, I'll be getting to that in an upcoming uh, DVD drinking review, so I don't want to show that at this time. Moving on, um, here we have the fourth film in the franchise. Uh, the last movie to be, to be released in theaters, um, I believe this came out in like 96, um, somewhere around there. Uh, this one's actually not too bad because they go into the um, whole uh, history of the Lamont configuration and the family that um, created uh, the box. So it's really cool. Um, it's obviously very space related. Um, I know my buddy Colin Richards uh, also really enjoys this film, so if you're watching, uh, hello. <laughs> um, but otherwise, um, it's a little bit weaker. You can kind of call it Pinhead in Space because the movie does take place in the far future. Uh, but I always thought that this was a really cool idea, um, but they never really expanded upon it with the later films. Um, then we kind of come to the NCIS, X-Files slash Law and Order kind of film. I actually love this one. I thought it was really awesome. You don't hunt for the engineer. The engineer hunts for you. Um, I thought they did a really good job adding a lot more um, death to the uh, characters as well as a little bit more death to the whole being in hell. Um, kind of memento-ish as well. Um, Speaking of Memento. <laughs> but um, all that aside. Um, yeah, just 
really cool. I don't, I don't want to say too much about it because I don't want to ruin it, but um, as I watch it and I get older, it doesn't hold up as much as it used to. Like when I saw this as a teenager, I was like, wow, it was an amazing film. Um, it definitely has its drawbacks and setbacks, uh, but for a Hellraiser sequel, if you're a Hellraiser fan, I recommend it. It doesn't have anything to do with the other films. You can easily skip this one, and it's not really going to affect the rest of the um, series, so to speak. Um, but this one uh, has some fucked up Cenobites in it, at least I thought. So, give it a whirl. Check it out. Uh, the tape itself... This is like 2000s, mid-2000s. Uh, Direct-to-video, of course. Uh, we come up on our next direct-to-video film. At the time, this was the last Hellraiser movie to be made. Um, I know in like 2005 or 2006, Hellraiser Deader. And then there was another Hellraiser film that came out. Hellraiser... Uh, has something to do with the internet. I can't remember. Or maybe that's the deader one. Um, Austin, obviously, if you know any of this, correct me. I'm just too lazy to look it up. Um, but this one was awesome because obviously they brought back Ashley Lawrence. Um, you get to see Kirsty kind of battle Pinhead one more time. Uh, this was sort of the, ver you know, the Pinhead version of like H2O, uh, so to speak. Or Jason Goes to Hell, sort of. Um, the one last time that they, you know, destroy him. Uh, my favorite, though, is the guy that plays Mayhem in all the state farm commercials. Or he used to. I, I guess they retired his character. He actually is the main character in this movie. He's Kirsty's uh, husband. Uh, similar to Inferno, there's kind of twists and turns. And, you know, some cool stuff. Once again, don't want to give too much away. Uh, but this is my other Hellraiser VHS tape. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll show you a couple other cool things here. At some point, I'm going to do a big, major uh, VHS kind of update. Um, but I know, Austin, since you kept asking, um, I have so many things planned that I don't know when I'm going to get around to showing these. So, I might as well just show you all these tapes now. Since you're asking. So, here are the big MGM you know, tapes, all, you know, all those, so, very, very neat, obviously, the ten, 10 to Midnight, and I love how, you know, it's got that, like, it's almost like a little mini coffin for the VHS, so those are pretty cool, um, didn't get a chance to watch this yet, but just picked up this, obviously, this is from a rental store, because the original like sleeve seems to be missing but that's still pretty cool got another Bronson film so if you're a Bronson fan Austin there you go here's another big MGM uh, VHS tape uh, as well as another big <laughs> VHS except this is really cool uh, of course this, this one's falling apart the best one I'll have to try and tape it up Jesus, this is like really fucked up, but <clears throat> kind of looks like the obelisk from the film. So, and then there's the tape on the inside. Just went flying the fuck out. Jesus, man, I just all but all, all kinds of butterfingers tonight. So, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you a couple cool things. Um, I got a this weird Star Classics giant. VHS tape and speaking of star classics I got these which are obviously square they're not rectangle and if I turn the looks like there's some spider web cobwebs in there but you can see I'm not sure what this extra crap is for I really don't it's really bizarre and the picture's so fucking tiny on, all, on both of them so there's there's a lot of weird VHS tapes out there um just really, really bizarre stuff. So, that's pretty much it. Um, I, you know, I'll, I'll go through all my other VHS tapes at some point. And, uh, you know, give, give, give all you guys the grand tour. Uh, but Austin, you know, you just you kept asking about what I have. And, um, you know, you, you 
expressed a lot of interest in the Hellraiser VHS tapes. Like I said, I'm going to keep an eye out for those other ones. Um, obviously the uncut version, because if I have not seen it, I definitely would like to see it, because I'm like the biggest Hellraiser uh, fan, especially 1 and 2. They're the best. So... That's it, dude. This was just a little mini video for you, as well as for anybody else who was interested in seeing a couple of my VHS tapes real quick. Obviously, I came across a bunch, a um, couple, couple good hauls, got some free tapes from a friend of a friend, and then picked up a couple tapes uh, courtesy of my buddy um, Josh. Uh, man, I'm forgetting already. AKA Press Start Collections. So thank you, Austin, uh, for watching. Thank you to everybody else. And uh, this is Jazz Jeff. I'm out.